All right, how you guys doing? This is a uh, this is an update after week ten. Uh, welcome to the Stuyvesant League news. Uh, just want to go over a couple of things. It's been an interesting week in week ten. A lot of high scoring. Uh, a lot of games at the very end uh, got a little bit crazy. So uh, it was interesting to watch. Now, want to just reach out to Gamma Gamers. I got a message from them this morning, so I wanted to uh, return the uh, compliment. Uh, thank you for the vote of confidence. Uh, 119 points. You know, I mean, that was what you got this week. I don't think that's going to get it done. Uh, Turner Garcon and, and Steve Johnson, who's been a godsend to you, all with zeros. Heinz Ward, uh, you know, missing that. Uh, Getting knocked out of the game early, that, that didn't hurt. And uh, Brandon Lloyd, I got I to hand it to you. I had him. He scored three points for my team, and I cut him. So you had the uh, patience to stick with him, and it's working out. So what I'd like to do is just go over a couple of matchups uh, from this past week. Um, some of these games meant something in the standings. Some of them didn't. And uh, some teams are on the rise, and, and some are on the fall. So uh, the first matchup was uh, Cats Wave versus Cookies Kids. Cookie uh, 137 and the Wave scored 90. Um, you know, Cookie's kids is, is doing well on record, but uh, it, I don't know if he's going to hold on. The game is not over yet, but it looks to be over. Cookie with a big carryover, San Diego quarterback. Cats Wave seems to be in a funk. Cook is 218 points behind. And uh, next week, Cookie is versus the, versus the Tulips and the Cats Wave versus the Ball Busters. Cat's Wave is uh, on its way down, and, and Cookie's kind of just treading water. Next matchup was Scorpions versus Domestic. Scorps 166, Domestic 62. Big week from Brady and Des Bryant. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what a lot of Domestic's uh, thinking about. I know early he didn't start Forte on a big week, and it looks like he picked up Felix Jones not to start him, and he benched Miles Austin, which is a little bit questionable. Uh, Scorpions holding tight at 5-5. Five and five. Domestic is fading fast at 4 and 6. Next week, the Scorps will versus the Pink Torps, and Domestic looks at the citywide. Scorps look to be about average team. Like I said, Domestic fading fast. Uh, the next matchup we go over is Tulips versus the Gamers. Gamers 119, Tulips 105. Tulips, as of this point, have an outside chance to win. Uh, gamers need to keep up with points, I and mean, they're having some uh, problems right now scoring points. Uh, but Gamer has a little bit of ace in the sleeve with Vincent Jackson and Sidney Rice uh, waiting in the wings on the bench. Uh, it looks to me that Gamers are in need of a trade. I know they made a trade offer and accepted a trade offer. It wasn't the right amount of players, so the, uh, the trade was sent back, and a couple players got hurt, so that trade was never, uh, never came to fruition. Next week, the Tulips face the Cookies Kids and Gamers versus the Scum Dogs. So the next matchup is Citywide versus the Scum Dogs. Scum Dogs 193, Citywide is at 93. Citywide has two guys going tonight, but I don't, I don't think they can win. Scum Dogs are, are making a bit of a run right now. They're 271 points behind. Uh, I know everyone has a memory of the draft and then Citywide Tom Feeney smoking a cigar. You know, and congratulations for last year's win. But uh, this is fantasy football in the Stuyvesant League. It's very tough to repeat. Um, just a couple things with the Scum Dogs, the Vikings quarterback. I'm not sure that's the quarterback this year anyway to bring the championship to you. Uh, next week, Scum Dogs versus the Gamers, Citywide versus Domestic. The next matchup we go over it was a tight and close match. Pink Torps 123, Chief Rambucks 120. Pink Torps for the second week in a row managed to squeak out a game by a couple of points. Uh, Pink Torps are 387 points out of uh, first place, but but only four games behind with seven left, so they do have an outside chance of record. Um, in order for that to happen, I think the QBs on the Pink on the Pink Torps. Uh, he drafted them very early. Both Drew Brees and Eli Manning have to step up and get it done. Sean Green was also an early pick for the Pink Torps, and uh, he's been virtually quiet. Next week, the Pink Torps versus Scorpions. Chief Rambucks will face the Mad Bombers. And the last matchup, uh, Mad Bombers versus the Ball Busters. Mad Bombers 236, Ball Busters 184. I gotta just say, from watching the game and, and being taught uh, the Mad Bombers early on, it was, I think the score was 140 to 20. So, uh, and the computer kind of got whacked. I'm sure everybody realized that. 
So the, the Mid Bomb is probably the only team that could come back from such a deficit did. Um, Mid Bomb's QBs, which were both picked 7th and ninth rounds respectively, have, uh, have done well and that might be a draft strategy for next year. If you can't get to some of the top guys, go late with some quarterbacks and hope to get lucky. Um, the ball bus has fallen bad luck again. They got the most points scored against in the league. Um, and it looks like the Mid Bombers are kind of separating themselves from the pack at this point. I think the closest team to them might be over 200 points. Uh, so it's, it's safe to say that right now, and I don't want to jinx myself, but the Mad Bombers are the team to beat. Uh, next week, the Mad Bombers face uh, Chief Rambucks, and the Ball Busters will face, will face uh, Pink Tops. So in summary, as of week 10, looks like the race is, is really, at this point, the second place. I don't want to speak too soon, but uh, the Mad Bombers keep getting done. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, if everything goes well, it'll be uh, the fifth high points uh, out of ten weeks. I want to, again, uh, take this opportunity for a special positive catch wave. I know there was some confusion over uh, carryovers. Not before that I saw him in the lineup, and I didn't see him in the lineup. And that was me, a little bit lazy, and, and uh, I apologize again. Also, I know catch wave has been the subject of a couple of controversial calls, but the... Uh, the beginning of the year with the, with the free agent waiver wire uh, confusion, did the rule change or didn't it change, and also with the Randy Moss uh, controversy. So it's not anything against Katrina's wave; it just kind of with the way it fell. So, uh, so this is the this is the Stuyvesant uh, League news signing off. Just want to wish you all good luck uh, the rest of the way, and hoping no one has any injuries, and hoping the best in the next seven weeks.